has like you know tools you know Mega Man has tools but he's actually a walking toolbox yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah we got another character that saw plenty of healthy changes Palutena repped by the one and the only gen and back at again with the wolves <laughs> yep Lemon Tea this popular is uh, character. really this is a pretty popular matchup all things considered for Tri-State like we see plenty of Palus all over the place Wolf is I feel even more popular neither of these players strangers to uh, how this matchup should go like, this is kind of like the matchup you've probably played since the beginning of the game. Because like, you realize these characters are real good, so you're going to be seeing them a lot. Along with like, a couple others. But yeah, this is mostly like the main one you'll see a lot. Yeah, especially in our neck of the woods. I feel like Wolf appealed to a lot of players, like, aggro, set play desires without like having to su search too hard for a kill. And then... For Palutena, like, she scratches that itch to have zoning tools, but also has really, like, versatile neutral tools. So she's not pinned down to one style of play. At the very least, I feel like that's why it's a character that fits well to, to Alan specifically. Like, Palutena and Jen, I feel he's just, like, a he's really good match. Like, he can play a bunch of other characters in this game to some level of, like, competency. But I feel like th we're not going to see another perfect click for him until we see a character similar to Palutena. And that's okay. That's true. Because he used to be a Ryu main from 4. and since His, his Bayo and his Sheik were also tight and nice. Yes. For those he who eventually remember. picked them up along the day days. Became one of New York's top 3 players since then. And now look at him since. Yeah, he's still staying top 3 here. Like... He's looking good. He's just got to, you know, show it off in bracket. Oh, no scoop there? Got right through the neutral get up into the roll. Palutena's head kind of small, kind of difficult to pick her up like that. Those realistic proportions kind of throwing off the cartoons. Oof, not going to kill off that side B. It's the sideways. Using the explosive flame to cover her recovery. Nice. And that one hit of armor dash attack. Ooh. <laughs> so good to have. This has a shield. Oh, that was a piss poor angle for Lemon T. He was put into a bad situation, too, because anything lateral or high was just covered. Yeah. Jen's doing a good job of outboxing him and keeping his lead. He, he's down like. He has to take two more stocks from Jen. I was like, oh, I'm just going to kill you once. Throw you off stage because you're spacing. Like, once Jen gets one ledge interaction where he's in control, like, that's where his safe damage is. Like, going for trades with Wolf kind of sucks, but. He gets control of the ledge, that's all the damage he needs to pick up, and then potentially just an easy kill. Yeah, not, and not being afraid to swing at him too, just to get his like quick little damage in, and then just keep back going back to the same spot he was before. It's like, I'm gonna just go back to where I was and just wait. Not pushing it, you know? Right. Also, especially like that whenever Jen is trying to check space aggressively, he's doing so with short up back air or dash attack. More so dash attack here. Just because like he knows he's going to be able to catch a jump in from Lemon T. He knows he's not going to really get checked in Ooh, no turn. Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. Well, this Safe. is trying to get spicy. Safe. I had all the time in the world to react to that. What's the ledge option? Oh! <gasps> what are you doing? Okay. All right. I like that. Cool. I don't like that. Let me just try to get something started with Jab. Like, you should have just done it to him. There? Like, I think to test the waters and see where he was going to go. Like, whether he jump. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a good short. And he avoided everything. There. And the back air to clean it up. And that's it. Okay. Strong move. Yeah, a little bit of spaghetti in the, the middle of that one. But overall, that was on that was on Jen's pace. So let's see how Lemon T can respond accordingly. No battlefield, no Kalos. Now we're seeing stadium. Solid play. <sighs> Lemon T was slowly bringing that back. He was. There was definitely a few flubs where Lemon T was like, "All right, now's my opportunity," and he started reeling himself right back in. And I like that. But like, you can't you can't like leverage your game plan being your opponent's mistakes. Like, you got to also showcase some good decision making. And I feel like Lemon T slipped up a little bit in that game one. Just. Like, unoptimal positionings of Wolf, or like, poor actions to whiff punish. This is also true, because like, I think that's a thing that for Wolf players in general, where they're just, they're given a character with such like, amazing tools to punish people who like, like, have bad fundamentals at the game, you know? That's what I feel like. So then you just get, you just get used to playing a certain way, 
And then when you fight someone like another good character, it's like, it, it becomes hard. Because now you have to recover against that good character, and then it's just like... Oh man, I didn't plan for this. <laughs> it's like there's, it is, there's a reason there's so much merit to when people make the argument that Wolf is like the most honest character, or even just as basic as Wolf is an honest character, because you reach that threshold where it's like you're no longer pest control, you're just on even fighting grounds with someone, yeah. be it character or player wise, and it's like, well, damn, what do I do? <laughs> Big buttons aren't covering it. I feel like they right now, big. Lemon Tea just isn't in the zone. Or at the very least, it's not showing in his play. Granted, at, at the same dancing. time, though, like any do mistake from the, you know the other player, the other character, it's just as good as Wolf, or a little bit better. Any mistake, Wolf can still capitalize off that and you know start getting his comebacks. Done. Like a good two frame from the ledge, or like a scoop and up smash. Ooh, what the? Right. So, so far we've seen Lemon Tea consistently miss spacing his down tilts and his down smashes, but picking off from center stage without taking too much damage, a good look for him. I especially like these retreating tilts and aerials. Like, this is smart. Force Jen to box in. Because right now, Jen's on the aggression. He doesn't want to zone out with auto radical and explosive fight. Yo, did you see that? You see that little shimmy? Oh, yeah. Jen, why? Why Jen you look that? Like, Jen looking like he take notes from Street Fighter players. Like, <laughs> like I swear, like I, I've seen him watch Hyde before and, and Hyde like play Street Fighter Five, and he'd be like, "Shimmy, it's the game." I'm like, "Wait a minute, what if I applied this to this?" Guy? <laughs> and you can. Car okay, so I actually, I actually feel like Shimmy is really, really valuable for zoners because you can't really afford to, even though Palutena does have dash attack and back air, like. Realistically, she can't afford to get in your zone like oh, that. Oh, there's nowhere you can oh. go. That was unfortunate. Oh. I love to see it. I, lo I love all the Jen is really good at getting that. It's the closest games out with that. That down, you know that down is actually kind of terrible. Oh. It's like, it's only active like one or two frames and it's like really close in on her. So you gotta like go all in if you're trying to stomp on someone. That's